Hey guys, BuffQ here again. Hope you're doing well as always. Yeah, the P38. A really, really cool firearm. Really cool. Let's go ahead and do a quick safety check. Show that the gun is empty. Okay. Ready to rock and roll. This firearm was one of four that was purchased by my brother at a gun auction. And so basically I'm here to show you what little bit I know about these things so far. And hopefully I'll keep learning and, and as you guys can chime in and help me with um, anything historical or what any of the proofs mean or any of that stuff, please do guys. I mentioned several times in the video on the Lugers, the three Lugers he purchased. I'm gonna say the same thing here. I'm not pretending to be uh, any sort of an authority on this. I'm purely a student and I'm just trying to show you guys what I have found so far and hopes that maybe you'll find it interesting. Okay, that's all it is. So, the P38 here, this particular one, the slide, right after you see it listed as P38, as well as the serial number, you see it says CVQ. I had no clue what CVQ meant, and so I went straight to Google, and basically what I found out is CVQ was basically a secret code. Okay, and again, this is something I mentioned in the Luger video. It's the same thing here. The German military didn't want to list Walther on this pistol. Some of the earliest models, I believe they did. However, um, well into the war, they discovered that, no, we don't want to be putting Walther on all these guns because if they're picked up by the Allies, the Allies will know exactly which uh, factories to, to target with their bombing. So basically, CVQ which is really supposed to be CYQ, but I'll explain that here in a second. CVQ is basically a secret code. What was it a secret code for? Well, it was a secret code for spree work. Spree work. Sorry, I'm not pronouncing that right. Spree work. S-P-R-E-E-W-E-R-K. All right, this was the company that was contracted out by Walther, one of three, I believe, to um, produce the P-38 pistol, all right? Spree Work manufactured this firearm from 1942 to 1945. The headquarters for Spree Work were, um, it was located in Spandau, which is uh, just outside of Berlin, I believe. However, this firearm was actually built in uh, the Czech Republic, okay? Just across the German border in the Czech Republic. So a few of the things that I've tried to research on this the um, some of the proof marks, the eagle with the 88. If you can see the 88 there, and perhaps it's on the other side as well. No, just on the one side, I guess. Okay, there's serial number. <clears throat> the eagle with the 88. Um, that refers to the inspector's code. All right. So aside from the model of the firearm, P38, your serial code, um, as well as the code for um, the company. Down here you have several different proof marks. The 88 refers to the inspector's code. Okay, this would have varied um, by each location that manufactured the P38. So if you went to wherever it was that Walther was doing it, it would have been a different number and the same for the third company that did it as well, okay? What I'm not yet sure of is you see a number here on the front of the trigger guard as well as BND. And up here on the top of the slide, same thing, I believe it's BND. Could be misreading that, could be BN, BNP. At any rate, um, so I'm still doing some research finding what those proof marks mean. But I've got to say, guys, this is really such an incredible example, like the Luger, of superior German engineering. This is just really incredible. When you take one of these apart, which I will be doing when we do our shooting video, but when you take one of these apart, you really realize how well these things are made, okay? Um, now, the Germans did switch to the P-38 from the Luger um, into the war because the P-38 was slightly cheaper to manufacture than the Luger. 
That being said, it's not a hunk of junk. It's not cheaply made. Um, it was just slightly cheaper than the Luger. I am really a big fan of the P38 design. My brother purchased all four, bought three Lugers in the P38, and he has always liked Lugers. He likes the look of them, the feel of them. He's always liked the toggle locking system. He just likes everything about them. I actually prefer the P38. Um, I think I'm probably in the minority on that one, but I just think it's such a classy looking firearm. And I'm so excited that now we have um, something in our, our collection of real significant history, okay? Um, this is not something that was purchased at a gun shop that was just built the other day. This is something that goes um, goes back a good way, 1942 to 1945-ish. You know, this is something that was carried um, very realistically, was very probably used, and um, somehow made its way uh, back home to us. The, the, the most important thing that, that we have to decide... Um, between the three Lugers and the P38 is what do we want to shoot and what do we want to sort of um, preserve or take care of and not really shoot. That decision is obviously not up to me as these are not mine. However, out of all four of these handguns, three of them I would feel comfortable taking out, enjoying. One of them I would probably not really shoot at all. I would clean it up make some kind of a nice um, display for it. It wouldn't stay in the gun in the gun safe because who's gonna see it there? You know, what enjoyment is that gonna give you? But three of these four I would I would enjoy shooting, one I would not. Okay, I won't get, go into details which is which, I'll just say that the majority of these I would, I would take them out and enjoy them. One of them I would wanna take care of. So anyway, guys, a short video because I really don't have a whole lot to tell you at this point. Like I said, I'm still very much learning on these. Um, there's a lot to know, lots of proofing marks, lots of dates, and a lot of stuff that is kind of up to interpretation depending on how clear you can read the proofing marks. It's not extremely cut and dry. Some of the stuff, as it gets worn off over the years, it kind of becomes hard to decipher, and so I'm just I'm doing the best I can. So that's what I can tell you right now. This one does seem to have all matching parts like all the other Lugers. Um, I don't see anything that's mismatched or that doesn't line up. So again, indicates to me that it's all original. Nothing has already been swapped out or replaced. Nothing that has been broken and has needed to be replaced, or at least that we know of yet. We have not fired these yet. We will be taking them out, at least some of them, hopefully soon to do a shooting video to give you guys some more information. We just wanted to show you what um, what we have so far. Pretty neat. How often do you see an original P38? You know, something kind of kind of unique to find. So hope you enjoy it, guys. We'll see you next time.